<laughs> Ni hao len zai. In this video, I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked a lot. It's Tobias. How do you meet so many people from all around the world? If you're interested, stay tuned for the video. And without further ado, let's get started. A lot of people ask me, why do I have the gut to speak with so many people from all around the world? First of all, you need to show them you're interested in their culture and also have an open mind to others' culture too. Because it's always different between the things that you learn back home or from the internet. Then rather be in the culture by yourself, where you're actually spending your time interacting with people who live in that particular culture for a really, really long time. And I guarantee you, it is a totally different experience. Whenever I meet an international student from school, I will always curious to ask them to share their culture background and some interesting things that happen back home. And it always works in terms of starting an interesting conversation. And here's why. Because we all have a great sense of pride when we share our culture background. And it's the same for everyone. People are happy to share if you are willing to ask. You could kindly ask them to take you to try their own food. Alright boys, um, we were just in downtown and I just, I'm just gonna meet up with my friends and he's from Thailand and we're gonna head to a Thai restaurant. So we're currently in a Thai restaurant and this is my friend here and he's back. I don't know what does it mean. It's Popopia. Popopia? And you now might wonder, when I meet people from all around the world, what do I really talk about? And on top of that, how do I continue the conversation with them? In fact, they're interested in your culture, as you are interested in theirs. They are curious to learn your culture. And so, you can just lavish around the things that happen in your hometown, and just pack up some interesting things that you want to share with people around you. And for me, I have a Turkish roommate and there's certainly a day that he wants to learn how to use a chopstick and I decided to teach him. For you, today I learned how can I use a chopstick. This is my bagel, I will eat and I will using the, these tools. <laughs> Three finger enough for the using. Dun, dun, dun. First, first one is the important thing is a skills. Look, no, 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 look. <laughs> what there? <laughs> they are my classmates from the Philippines, and you now might wonder what can I share if we both share a really similar culture background? And this is how. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you mean have a good day. Lay whole and is mean like I'm handsome, so you say like you are handsome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, say it, say it. Well, I'm not sure about you, but I really enjoy the part that where I actually trick them to say something that actually complimenting me. Especially they don't even have a clue what they are saying. And that's the reason why I enjoy doing language exchange with so many international students from all around the world. Because it could be really fun and be really interesting during the process. And so, why confining yourself to your own circle when you can actually meet so many people outside of your circle and doing all these interesting things? And trust me, by doing that, you will learn so much more because every individual is different, especially when they are from different country where they all have different culture background. Wait, it's actually say siu mai. Yeah, siu mai. So like in Cantonese we call siu mai. Siu mai. Siu mai is actually the same. Siu mai. The second thing that I want to talk about is your mentality. A lot of people were afraid to speak with foreigners because they were afraid of making mistakes. 
I used to think the same way too, because when I first arrived to Canada, I was being really timid and shy, and I was so afraid of making mistakes while I spoke English, and I was afraid people would judge me because I'm not speaking fluent English. But what really surprised me is none of that actually happened. Well, it doesn't matter if you can't speak like a native, because. Nobody was judging me when I spoke English in Canada, and they didn't expect me to spoke fluent and perfect English too. And yes, the same reason why you won't judge this. Man, 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 come on, you know? That's all I know. Come on, come on. Like that. Like, but this guy, like, it's like, been like, how come? Yeah. It's, but it sounds like yeah. Chinese. She sounds like Chinese. Yeah. Alright, that's the I like her accent, but it's like only few words, so just. Yeah. Yeah. She just learned it by herself, so I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah. See? We love it. No one will ever judge you when they know you're trying to put yourself out there to speak their language. They all are really supportive, and they all will just only show respect and appreciation toward you. And by the way, making mistake. Is how you learn a language fast. That's basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my content. And I'm gonna leave you as the same way as I leave you every videos, making sure you make someone day else better. And I appreciate you, and I hope you have an amazing day.